Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to connect with the protagonist. Our goals for today are to look at what the protagonist is, how you can look at the protagonist, and what you can learn from the protagonist. As you are a reader, you can gain a lot more about the story by making connections with the protagonist. Let's start out by taking a look at what is the protagonist or who is the protagonist. Protagonist is your main character in any story. It's the hero or the heroine. We're going to find this in any kind of fictional literature. So a short story, a novella or novel, a piece of drama, so a play or a screenplay, a movie, anything like this where we have a fictional piece that is telling a story, we should have a protagonist somewhere in there. Here are some examples of protagonists, some of these people you may have heard of and some of them may be new to you. They're from a variety of different sources. Some of them are short stories, some of them are popular fiction, some of them are classical fiction, um, some of them come from fairy tales, some from drama. So we see these characters from a variety of different places, but what they all show in share in common is that they are all protagonists. They are all the main characters of the stories that are told. A protagonist's life is actually pretty hard. The viewpoint that a protagonist has is quite limited in scope. They can only see what's right in front of them, what's very present. What you can see as a reader is you can actually see the viewpoints from multiple characters. You can see their pasts and their present. You can make predictions about characters, particularly if there's foreshadowing that's been included within the story. Your protagonist doesn't have that advantage. And you can also see into the minds of multiple characters. This can be really useful to you as a reader for being able to dig into the story and understand it more deeply. One of the wonderful things that you can do with literature is to make a deep connection with a protagonist. You may do this by finding the similarities and differences that you have with a particular protagonist. You may love some protagonists and you may greatly dislike others. That's okay. In fact, that's fantastic. It shows that you're having a connection with that particular story, with that narrative. How can you learn from your protagonist? Inevitably, your protagonist is going to be faced with a variety of different challenges. They're going to have to find ways to overcome those challenges, and the protagonist should change as a result of these experiences. If we look back through a variety of different stories, we see this in strong writing. We see the protagonist changing over time. We see the protagonist struggling. We see the protagonist facing challenges. These are great opportunities for us to learn from the protagonist and to connect to the protagonist. Reasons why we love literature and art. We can see ourselves, our own personal lives reflected in stories and in art. We can identify with the troubles of the protagonist. What that person is going through may be similar to what we have gone through. So therefore we can make that connection. It feels comfortable to us because we understand. We want to see a good protagonist succeed because we want to succeed. And we want to learn what we can as we're reading. We want to learn about ourselves and our own personal growth want to learn about our culture and other people around us, and to want to learn about our past as well as our future. This can all be done and can be improved upon by connecting to that protagonist. At this point, what you should know and be able to do is to understand what the protagonist is, uh, be prepared to identify and identify with a protagonist, Understand how to make connections with the protagonist and connect with literature more deeply overall. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Good luck with your reading.